first NFL mock draft from the channel. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Sports Scoop. We are doing our first, as I said, NFL mock draft. It is great to be start. I mean, we we really started this channel with with uh, last year's draft, reviewing it, and we are continuing it as the NFL season begins to close. Some of these picks are starting to get more, you know, assured for these teams. The Jets obviously lost, so they have the first pick. Let's get into our first draft. If you do enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Watch the full video as it is a long video. Um, so you can cut to any part, see your favorite team, see what pick we had, um, and definitely make sure to subscribe. Let's get into the draft. Going Jets number one, this is the obvious pick. I, I'm assuming they will stay with the number one pick, obviously losing to the Raiders. This is easy. They go with Trevor Lawrence, the absolutely incredible quarterback prospect out of Clemson. Huge arm, uh, great talent. He can move out of the pocket. He can throw out of the pocket. I think he's that franchise quarterback they're going to want to build around. I think that's an easy pick. I don't think there's a choice there. Now Jaguars, obviously with the second pick, I'm assuming they'll keep this pick unless the Jets get a win or two at the end of the season, which I doubt. Uh, but the Jets, I think another, this is a pretty obvious pick. They go with Justin Fields. Uh, Minshew's been injured, hasn't looked like that future quarterback for them. Uh, I just, I, I mean, I, I don't I don't see him there. I think Justin Fields would easily go number one in any other draft, but, you know, Lawrence is there. Fields is an incredible quarterback prospect. Even if you're the Jets and somehow you dropped a two, I think Fields is still a great pick. But uh, the Jaguars pick him up here. I think he's a great player. Uh, Bengals then go with offensive tackle out of Oregon, one of the best offensive tackles I've seen. 6'6", six, six, Penne Sewell, absolute monster in the run block. Good at pass protection. Very good at, you know, gets beaten he's good at recovering and protecting quarterback obviously with Joe Burrow having a season ending ACL terrible knee injury I think you know Penny Sewell is going to come in here and sure up that offensive line I think this is a needed pick um, so they definitely go here now this this is where picks start to get definitely different depending on person I think the Chargers here could have would have went with Penny Sewell assuming he dropped here that he will not um, but I think they could go corner here they could go Micah Parsons I don't think they need a receiver, but I'm going to give them Micah Parsons. I think this might be a controversial pick. I think they're going to try and pair up Micah Parsons with uh, last year's first round pick in uh, Murray. I think Micah Parsons is an absolute athletic freak. He's tall. He's fast. He can sprint around the field. He's like an Isaiah Simmons. So I like Micah Parsons here. I think they're going to go with the best player on the board. Now going to the Cowboys, obviously Jamar Chase is here. They definitely don't go with him after taking C.D. Lamb, who they didn't even need last year, but he's been good. So they don't need a wide receiver for uh, Greg Rousseau is here. I think they could go with him. This wouldn't be a bad pick, but I think they need corner more. They go with Patrick Sertain drafting a second quarter uh, corner in a year from Alabama. Absolutely incredible, tall, athletic, athletic uh, corner. Lengthy corner can get his hands on the ball and can keep up with receivers. I like Patrick Sertain here out of Alabama to the Cowboys. Going into number six. Uh, Eagles go with, I'm going to say Jamar Chase. Their receivers this year just haven't been able to get any separation from the quarterback. Uh, they haven't been able to really do anything for uh, either Carson Wentz. And next year, it's going to, assuming I'm assuming, be Jalen Hurts. Jamar Chase, an incredible receiver, was a number one receiver with Justin Jefferson last year. I think he'll be a better prospect than Jefferson. Uh, a lot of people have been saying, I think he's an incredible talent. I like Jamar Chase to go here now with the Panthers I could see Parsons dropping here obviously I have him going to the Chargers so I think with this pick the Panthers go with Caleb Farley um, the cornerback out of uh, Carroll or sorry out of Virginia he is again like certain he's a long lengthy quarterback he's very good at getting his hands on the ball he can stay with receivers and is just you know going up against bigger receivers in the NFL he can keep up with them he has the size to do it I think the Panthers are in a position here they could go quarterback um, and I think my pick might change as we do more mock drafts, but I like Caleb Farley here. I think he definitely fits with that team. The secondary is incredible. They don't really have that number one quarterback beside, corner besides Jackson. So I like Caleb Farley here. Now going with uh, the Atlanta Falcons, I actually, this, this draft order has been switched up. I, I, I don't have them taking a pick here, but I guess we'll have to go with it. Uh, I'm going them to take Zach Wilson, the, uh, quarterback out of uh at, at, out of atlanta or sorry out of byu um and yeah so this is weird i my picks are different so i'm just going to go with the players i had originally assuming this draft order changes but yeah uh, i think it was zach wilson quarterback out of the atlanta falcons i think he's a great quarterback i think he's definitely going to go here i like you know what what he brings to the table for that team and i think you know he's a good pick here but 
you know, it could go different, different ways. Uh, going to the Dolphins with their pick, I think they need receiver. Uh, you know, Rousseau's there, but I have him going. I have the Lions at pick nine here, but I guess they're not. I have them going with Devontae Smith, the wide receiver out of Alabama, pairing him up with Tua Tungavailoa, his, you know, their, you know, quarterback uh, wide receiver matchup in Alabama caught that you know game-winning pass from Tua in the championship he's an incredible wide receiver very very good offensive threat Devontae Smith here I think it's easy pickup for the Dolphins with the Washington's pick I have them going and I have them before the Falcons so I would say this this pick can change um, but I have them going with uh Trey Lance, quarterback out of North Dakota State. He can move out of the pocket like Mahomes. He's a fast quarterback. He has an arm, um, and he's decently accurate. I think at this point, Washington have moved on from former first-round pick Dwayne Haskins. I don't think Alex Smith is the option. Um, he's not terrible, but he's older. So I think they go Trey Lance, be uh, you know another star set of quarterback in this class. I think this is a definitely easy pickup for that team, um, and I don't see them going anywhere else. Uh, I'm going to quickly change. I think if the um, if the – uh, if the sorry, if the Broncos are here and have this pick, I have them going with um, Quiddy Pay out of um, Broncos. And again, Greg Rousseau is not off the board because of my draft order. He does go earlier, but uh, Quiddy Pay Edge out of Michigan, incredible. Uh, you know, second best edge in in this draft. Very good, good with his hands. Can get by offensive linemen. Very, very good pressure. I think with Von Miller getting older, they're looking to bring in more. Uh, you know outside linebacker or edge threats quitty pays the pick here now we go to number 12 where i have the lions taking gregory russo assuming that they have this 12th pick i don't think Greg russo will be here um but i had their get them getting a pick much earlier so bear with me there obviously they don't but they go with him here. I think uh, Rousseau's a very, very good, talented, the best edge rusher in this class. He's incredible with his hands. He's a big player. Um, and height-wise, he's not huge, but, you know, he can get past offensive linemen. Uh, and I think the Lions can use him here as their defense has been really, really bad. Uh, but going up 13th to the Chicago Bears, um, where I actually, you know, again, this draft order is kind of just messed up for me. I have them going with um, Samuel Cosme, the offensive tackle from Texas. Again, I'm just going to keep saying this. If they had this pick, they would definitely go with different players. But I'm going with when I did my draft um, on Google Sheets, you know, who I had. And I have them going to Cosme here. I think he's a very uh, good offensive lineman, one of the best tackles in this class. Um, I think if they, he drops here, they need him. I think they might go quarterback here. And I, I think that might be more likely. But I think right now they might stick with Trubisky for another year. They might go sign on in free agency. Cosme's good for protection there. I love uh, that pick there for them. Next at pick 14, where I have – actually, I had the, the Niners at 15. But, again, uh, I have them going with Rashad Bateman, incredible tall receiver out of the 49ers. Obviously, Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk, injury problems, but Ayuk's been incredible out of the rookie out of Arizona. So I think Rashad Bateman brings that tall – red zone receiver, deep threat receiver, who they can count on. Um, I love this pick here. I think besides Devontae Smith, Jalen, or defies, you know, sorry, besides John, Devontae Smith, Jamar Chase, and Waddle, I think he's top five receiver in this class in another pretty stacked uh, receiving class here. Uh, now going to the Cardinals pick, where well, this is definitely a controversial one for me, but I have him going with Kyle Pitts, um, the wide receiver from uh, – um, sorry for the wide. That's sorry, not the wide receiver. The tight end from Florida, incredible tight end. He is just so big that he dominates on the other side of the line, and he's very, very awkward ma matchup for corners or linebackers. Tall, fast, he can do it all. Best tight end in this class, I think. With Kyler Murray having his receiver for the future in Hopkins, Kirk, and then Fitzgerald, obviously he'll be retiring soon. They could go with defense here, but I think if Pitts is here and if he falls here. That's a definite pickup for them. Uh, but now going on to the Patriots, where I originally had them going with Devontae Smith, but recent performances from him have just shown how he's an absolutely incredible wide receiver, could end up being the best in this class. Um, but I have the Patriots, I think a need receiver, they go with Jalen Waddle, which I would say makes a bit more sense. Incredibly, you know, deep threat wide receiver. 
and was still playing, getting a lot of production with Devontae Smith on his team, with, you know, last year with Henry Ruggs and Jerry Judy, um, just in that stacked receiving core. And he's still very fast, incredible, you know, special teams player as well. I think they could use him as a gadget player. Um, and he can burn players down the field like Henry Ruggs has done for the Raiders this year. Uh, but going for the uh, Baltimore Ravens, I think they would have loved to got Bateman here, but I don't think he drops here. Um, and I have them going with Joseph Osai, the uh, edge rusher from Texas. And I think this is – they could go receiver here maybe, and I could see maybe Waddle drops, maybe Bateman drops. You know, you, you see because the 49ers could go with quarterback. But I, I like uh, Osai here. I think he's a very, very good uh, edge from Texas. And I don't see them really going anywhere else if if there's the players they don't want um, here. Uh, next, who the you know the Raiders could have used Osai, but I have them going with the absolutely incredible linebacker out of Notre Dame, Jeremiah Owusu Karamoa. Um, very very tall, um, or sorry, not tall, very very big. Um, again, he goes side to side on field. He's pretty good in coverage, um, and I think this is all around linebacker with Corey Littleton not working out. They're signing from free agency, you know. Owosu Karamo comes in here, and I think he's an automatic starter for this team. Um, and I love that pickup here. Uh, but next we have the New York Giants, where I think this pick, I'm assuming, will probably drop a, a bit just because of, you know, where they have, where, you know, because of playoffs, their first new division. But, you know, if it's here, there's a lot of players. I think in offensive line to pick, they could go Wyatt Davis. But I like Rashawn Slater, who people are having going really high. And I think he's probably the second best tackle in this class, in my opinion. I have Northwestern. Uh, people, I saw someone have him go at five to the Chargers. I think it's way too early. But if Slater's here, I think they take him. I know there's, they probably don't need tackle that much. But with you know Andrew Thomas, if he somehow doesn't work out, Slater um, – you know, it could be that player with, you know, Saquon coming back, Daniel Jones, I'm assuming will stay as a starter next year. They just need to upgrade the offensive line, which has been productive this year. So maybe they put, I think they put Slater on the other side of Thomas. They have a good offensive tackle. He's a very, very good player, um, tall, big, and can, and is very shifty, good with his hands. So I like uh, him, him to go there. Uh, but our next pick where I had the Vikings going, you know, at 13, but obviously they dro now dropped to 20, which I think is going to keep happening. But if he's here, I think they go Christian Darishaw, the tackle out of Virginia Tech. Very, very stacked offensive line class, something we didn't see last year. But Darishaw, he's a big offensive tackle, second player out of, from Virginia Tech to go in this round. I think it's just at this point the Vikings need offensive linemen um, to protect Kirk Cousins, to protect Dalvin Cook. So I like uh, them going Darishaw, big, big offensive tackle. Um, an automatic starter for that team. Now going with the Buccaneers, I'm assuming they're going to have Tom Brady next year. So, you know, do you give them more threats? You know, what do you do with this team? But I think something we've seen in that secondary is it's not incredible. I think they can use upgraded, but I think Carlton Davis has had a good year. So I think they go JC Horn, uh, arguably, you know, top five cornerback in this uh, class out of South Carolina. Um, I think at this one, it's just, you know, they take the, the best player on the board in, in terms of defensively. I like JC Horn. I think, you know, he shares up that secondary and can move into a, you know, a cornerback one role, assuming he has that position. But now the Dolphins, again, with their set or another one of their first round picks. And here I think they go and I think they're absolutely incredibly or they're very happy to take Travis Etienne uh, the best running back in the class senior from Clemson was very good last year everyone was like all right you know mock drafts that happened last year Etienne was you know top prospect they get their running back of the future and I know Gaston's been playing well and I think they could still implement him in the system but I think if Etienne's here I don't really see where else you could go you know maybe offensive lineman but I think just the talent Etienne has out of the backfield as well as receiving um, is just you know unmatched uh, but now going to the Indianapolis Colts, where I think they go, and I know quarterback is a, an opinion, but right now I think there's the, the quarterbacks on the board, none of them are, are worth taking a first-round pick over, or at least er, early-ish, mid-first-round pick. So I have them going with Jalen Mayfield, the offensive tackle out of Michigan. Um, I think he's incredible talent. They – Again, bring in more offensive line. I think they have the best offensive line of the year. As I believe Philip Rivers has been pressured the least in the league this year, um, and they they always strike. Or sorry, they always you know 
hit home runs for offensive linemen. Uh, so I think they go Jalen Mayfield here, sure up that offensive line even more, um, which is incredible to think about. But definitely go with him here. Now going to the Tennessee Titans here at pick 24. I had him at pick 27. But again, as I said, this draft has been, you know, it get, get constantly gets changed around. Um, I'm going with uh, Jay Tufeli, the USC defensive tackle or inf- inside defensive lineman. Very, very talented player. I'd say he's the best inside defensive lineman in this class. One of the best, you know, defensive uh, uh, sacking threats in this class. And I think with Isaiah Simmons, or sorry, not Isaiah Simmons, with uh, Simmons as their defensive tackle, I think Tufele can go in, be that second one, get more pressure, run stopping for this Titans team, which is looking to push for Super Bowls um, as they are in a win now mode. And I think Tufele fits that perfectly. Now into the Jets second round pick. So they just take have they just took uh Trevor Lawrence. And I know I, there's no if there were receivers here, yeah, go with a receiver. There just isn't. Um and I think they, they kind of have to go with cornerback here. Uh and he, here's here's my thing. I had Stokes going uh to the Browns, but now that the Jets have the further pick, I think they go. Um, Stokes, the cornerback out of Georgia. Again, incredible cornerback talent. He's kind of moved into that, you know, starting role now, and he's just good. I think he's a bit shaky in terms of uh, coverage-ish, but I think he's still an incredible cornerback. They go with him here. Um, And I think I had Sean Wade, but I I think if Stokes is still on the board, I think he's the better cornerback prospect, so they go with him. But now the Jaguars, again, so they they just take – they've just taken, obviously, Justin Fields with pick number two. Um, but I think this is a pretty easy one. I think they're going with the best offensive line on the board right now. Wyatt Davis, very, very, very good off- inside offensive lineman from Ohio State. I would say one of the best in the class in terms of inside offensive lineman. I think this is an easy pickup. Protect Justin Fields if they draft him. It's an easy, easy pick. I don't think they really go you know, anywhere else here. So I think this is a very easy pick for the Jaguars. Now going on to the... Buffalo Bills, where I actually have them taking offensive line here, and they go with, uh, again, the top person on the board, Liam Eichenberg. And you know about Notre Dame offensive linemen. They're very, very talented. Um, and I think this is a, a decent, easy pickup with Allen. Um, I don't think his protection is terrible, but I think they can always upgrade. Uh, and I think definitely pick him up here. And to be honest, I could see them trading up, maybe getting Etienne with that running back spot, not completely shored up. I know Zach Moss. I know Devin Singletary. Um, but I do like Eichenberg here. I think he's an easy pickup. Um, and there's not much else, you know, really offensive line-wise, um, besides maybe Dylan Randunes or Elijah Vera Tucker. But I think they go with the best lineman right now. Next, we have uh, the Chicago Bears. Or sorry, not the Chicago Bears. The uh, Cleveland Browns. And I originally had them going Stokes, but they end up having a, a lower pick now with their win. So I have them going with Sean Wade, cornerback out of Ohio State. I was really high on him, and I think he's dropped in in, in stock. If you saw our ranking NFL 2021 NFL prospects, one of our first videos, we had Sean Wade as one of the top prospects, which I think he still is, but definitely is a late first round pickup. And, you know, he had potential to be one of the best cornerbacks, if not the best in the uh, in college. But obviously he dropped off a little bit. I think he's still a very good talent. Um, and I think with Greedy Williams being injured, Denzel Ward's still been good, but, you know, maybe could get traded. Um, I like Sean Wade here, future of that, you know, cornerback class or cornerback uh, system. But now the Packers. And cornerback, obviously, as you see, is their number one need. But – I don't, there's no cornerbacks right now that are worth taking. Maybe Darion Kendrick, but I think he's a second round pick. Uh, so I think they go um, and, and they get, you know, some, some help for Devontae Adams finally after not getting anything last year. And they go with Terrace Marshall, the wide receiver uh, out of LSU. Absolutely incredible, incredible wide receiver. Very good hands, good route runner. Um, I think this is, a, this is an easy pickup. Terrace Marshall is incredible, big receiver, compliments uh, Devontae Adams well, gives Aaron Rodgers more threats, makes that offense even more incredible. Uh, But now the Kansas City Chiefs here at number 30, and I think this pick might drop us if they win the Super Bowl, but I have him going with Elijah Vera Tucker, who I'm very high on. I think this would be a bit of a drop for him. I even could see the Giants taking him if they're not looking for tackle here. But I love Elijah Vera Tucker, offensive lineman at USC, good in protection, good at moving his feet. I think, you know, give Mahomes more. You know, you just sign him to a gigantic deal, give him more protection. I think it's a pretty easy pickup. Next, the Saints. I'm assuming this pick will probably rise. I think, 
you know, the Chiefs and Saints might swap there. But uh, I have the Saints going with um, – Zaven Collins, where is he? Zaven Collins, the linebacker out of Tulsa. Not a lot of Tulsa players you see going. Number one, I think that linebacking core, besides Demario Davis, uh, definitely needs to be shored up a bit. They have the most complete roster here, so it might be a, a, a case of do they just go with the best player, but their offensive line is incredible, so I couldn't see them really going with offensive linemen. Maybe they go with Pat Fairmuth, but uh, Cook has been pretty good, so I like their pick here. And with the last pick in the first round, I have the Steelers going with Kyle Trask, quarterback out of Florida. Um, I'm sorry, finally, guys, during our draft. So, quarterback out of Florida, I think he's easily the best pickup for them here. Um, and I don't really see them going really anywhere else. I love that pickup for the Steelers here. Um, and yeah, I, I think this is a pretty easy pickup. They need the quarterback there. Um, so definitely take them here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy our mock draft, make sure to like and subscribe as well. Comment down below. What are your opinions? Definitely the draft was a bit messed up because the board always switches. So my picks are a bit different, but I just went with my original picks. Obviously there will be different, you know, by the time the drafts finalized, we will have a lot of mock draft stuff. We'll, doing, we'll be doing a lot um, every month. So definitely make sure to do that. All of our links, uh, socials will be in the description down below. So you can go check us out over there, Instagram podcast, as well as our uh, TikTok. Um, and Instagram, we post two to three times a day. Um, we give you guys exclusive content on when we're posting videos before as well. Our website is linked at the top of the description. Click on that. We post articles, definitely be getting some mock draft articles out there um, today. So definitely go check that out and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and have a good one.